Take my shoes off. Okay, ready? Ready for the push? Push! Woohoo! We're up to speed and zoom. Well, we're how many meters do you think we are away from the boat? 100? 150. 150 meters to go and we will be back on the boat. I'm so excited. It's been, it's actually been a couple months since we were last on it. Longer than expected, but as per usual, things happen. We had a really nice couple months in the van and kind of working and also exploring um, some of the interior and some of the more land-based activities that we just can't get to on the boat but we're back we're back now and it feels so good we have an extra crew member on board today hello <laughs> and we're actually gonna try and do some fishing we have a crab pot and a fishing rod and hopefully we might even be able to catch dinner did miracles. Bad boy's looking a bit rusty. Oh, no. What? Oh, I stopped. Jonas, that's not a funny joke. <laughs> home sweet home, Jillian, your plant is alive. <gasps> no. Was... Oh, my goodness. Come look at this, Andrew. When we left, it only had one leaf. The avocado plant is flourishing. So you're saying it does better without you here? It does. <laughs> it probably was just so humid. Wow. Yeah, oh, I can get it from the air. These little guys, these little guys are not doing well, but what can you do, right? I mean, it was like a, it's like a little greenhouse, chilling. They just need water now. Yeah, I guess it is. Oh, I love this book. <laughs> There's a, a little dinghy that went out going for a sail. And I think one of their uh, one of their stays came off somehow, and they dropped their masts. So Julian and Jonas are just giving them a tow in. Very nice enough. Great day for a sail out. We might take the boat in a bit here. Oops, that was my hand. Hello. We just did our fir first boat rescue of the summer. <laughs> There's a couple dinghy sailors, I think they were in a laser too, and uh, their mast, I think one of their stays gave out or they lost a pin or something and their mast. So, but the best part is, we were just talking about this, our engine has given us, our little dinghy engine has given us lots of problems, but when we need it, it always pulls through. And this was a perfect example. We haven't used it for like two months. And it started up first pull, like butter. One pull. Like One pull. <laughs>
covered in barnacles once again. Okay, I think we're ready to make sandwiches. Huh. Never cut tomato this way. No, I thought I'd try something different. So before we left last time, we put up this line over the, the boom keep the birds out and it seemed to work because normally we would come back to a to poop everywhere but there was nothing this time yeah a couple dead crabs so we'll be doing this again Barnacle cleanup. <laughs> Is it coming off? Actually having a bit of a tough time. For some reason our halyards keep slipping. So if anyone has any advice on that, um, we keep, yeah, I don't know why it's happening. <laughs> so we're gonna have to figure that out for next time, but it's beautiful. We've got some actually good wind for once, which is amazing. Okay, we ease the jib in, raise the halyard again, and it seems to be sticking. So maybe we solved the problem to be. We will fill you in later. 
but that's way better. There's no crinkles in the sail. Because the idea is that you don't want, if you have horizontal crinkles or horizontal wrinkles. <laughs> horizontal crinkles. <laughs> If you have horizontal, if you have hit horizontal wrinkles in your sail, it means it needs to be tightened. The halyard needs to be pulled up more. If you have vertical wrinkles in your sail, it means you over tighten the halyard and you need to loosen up a bit. But our halyards seem to be slipping just a little bit, although it's holding now. to catch our dinner. Cause your love is strong for him. Why would 